Oh, here we are off Mount Monganui. Tower on the entrance. And this gentleman is Phil Sheaf, who's the managing director at Surtees Boats. And Phil, we're out here in your new 750 hull. Could you um, talk us through it and, and let us know what's uh, what's new about this design? One of the, uh, the features of all the Surtees boats is their ballast system for to make it so stable. And that, as we are sitting here, there's quite a chop. The boat's are stable as we can walk around the boat. It doesn't lean over. It's, Stops a lot of the rocking. So, so this allows you to have a relatively fine entry and deep V without paying a penalty when you're at rest. Exactly. Of course, you, 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 you've hit the nail on the head there, Sam. It's the um, deep V, of course, when you stop at rocks. The flatter the bottom, the better it is when you're at rest. We've got our ballast system on the 750 here. It runs all the way along the keel under the fuel tank here, which is a 300 litre standard fuel tank. So underneath there is when you stop, it fills up with water. There's about 450 litres of water. And there's a, a gate, I believe, which allows you to hold that water in the hull if you need a, a bit more ballast while you're travelling in rough conditions. Yeah, it, it, the, the system works automatically. So when you stop, it fills up. When you take off, it just in, instantly empties out. But like you say, in rough weather, before you move off, close the gate hold the 450 kgs of weight in and you've got a much heavier boat to punch through that chop. It makes a big difference. You lose a bit, you lose a bit more pressure. So. And this is the gate system down here, this cord. Very simple. It's very simple and reliable. Yep. Yeah. That was closed there. No, no. So Phil, talk us, talk us through the changes in this hull and, um, and the features. Right. The uh, main change is, is the length of the hull has gone from 7.3 to the 7.50, so we've added 200 here. Okay. okay. So that's given you more cockpit area, which is what we wanted. And have you increased the beam? No, the beam still, still remains the same at 2.5. So that's basically, this hull is a development from the 720, Se was it? 730. 730. Yeah, 7.3. Yeah, it's a, basically the same design. That's a, the new design we did a few years ago, and three or four of our other models has that same uh, characteristics and, and measurements of that, of that hull. Okay, well, let's run through the features. I see there's a... Um, a pretty decent sort of a boarding platform here with built-in um, burly pot and a, is that a fold-down ladder? Yes, it's a, this is a, this is an extra you can get when you order the boat. So that just pops, 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 pops like that and drops down at the ladder. And uh, yeah, the bird cage thing around it. If you get that, we extend the duck water bit to give you a bit more walk, walking room as well so it works really well it's a very popular feature yeah you could fish out that especially oh, in the yeah. summer yeah great okay that works really well as well <laughs> <laughs> excellent so the um obviously there's a, a bait station is that removable yes this one's got it's on a removable uh, pole through there that's our deluxe one so okay you've, you've Tack, tackle drawer in there yeah yeah and Knife slots and uh, rod holders down the back. Yeah, and these two little black rubber things here is you put you can put a trace roll of trace in there and have it sticking out here and okay. just cut your truss. Trace dispenser, trace, good yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, it's great setup. Okay, and um, looks like we've got a the standard Certes design fold down seat at the back here. Let's yeah. just shift this chili bin a bit. Okay, yeah, this is standard on all of them. That's made it so you can put a little padlock through it to lock it up if you want to. Yep. Um, it's a pretty simple little little hatch there. That's, and that just protects all your batteries, all your main switches and bits and pieces. Stowage, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, cool. and, and, and like you said, it becomes a little seat as well. Excellent. Keeps it all nice and dry. Okay. It's a... Uh, I'll drop that back in there. So this is a pretty decent sized cockpit. Um, well, you can very, see very, that. very beamy and um, nice check plate floor. Give you plenty of good footing. Yep. And it's all fully welded. There's no holes, cracks, so it makes it super easy to wash down. 
We're talking about that, that's the wash down pump there, nice long hose on it. Yep. Keep your, keep your boat nice and clean while you're fishing all day long. And these little rod racks look like they're movable along yeah, the gunnels. Yeah, they're, they're magic. Um, that, you get them in a two and a four. This is the four, of course. And you can put your rod in there when you're travelling and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not high up in the... Keep the reel hours out of the spray. Yeah. Keep yeah. the rod inside the line of the hull in case you're coming alongside a wharf or something. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it's totally, totally movable. Yep. Excellent. So live bait tank. Yep. And um, plenty of uh, rod holders along the sides here. Yeah, they're all aluminium, and we use aircraft rivets. Aluminium, you like to not mix metals. Yep. So, uh, so they're all, all aluminium through here. So, what's in these bench seats behind the um, right behind the bulkhead here? We've got a cooker on the side. Yep. And there's a gas bottle under, presumably. This is this is a uh, methylated spirits one, okay. so you don't have a gas bottle on the boat. Oh, that's kind it's of a, nice thing. Yeah, it's a safety safety thing. Yep. We, uh, yep. Right, so we try to avoid having a gas bottle on. So, so that's storage underneath. Yes. And, and this side? This side here is just a little kit, a little sink here. Okay, and a fresh water tank somewhere fresh on the Fresh water, yeah, that's underneath the passenger side there. And Great. in here is a, a electric heater. An electric heater, okay. Yeah. So that gives you a warm water shower if you're a diver or yeah. a swimmer? Yeah. It gives you a lot of, it's, it's about 10 litre tank of hot water and as you shower it mixes the cold water so it gives you a lot of water. So it uses a bit of power, you have that on when the motor's running, you know, when you get yep. off in the morning. Excellent, so there's also a removable sun protection screen up here and on top of the boat is a, yep, a hard top. Just... Yep, don't need to. Okay. Right. Yep. Cabin door. Bifold, lockable. Yeah, two catches, one up the top, one up the bottom. Yep. It's good solid locks. Professionally made marine, uh, industrial grade marine doors they are. They're not just basic household old, old doors, they are strengthened yep. and they've got the safety glass in them as well. Here we are in the cabin of the 750. Phil, would you like to walk us through some of the features? Okay, it's... Um, it's, it's a mini launch, so it's got everything a launch has. It's got the toilet, the fridge, water tanks. Um, we've tried to keep the area open as open as much as possible. You can fit three people in the uh, in the, up the front here. Or three game rods, by the looks of things. Well, there's three good game rods in there. <laughs> They're pretty nice ones too. Yeah. <laughs> um, the toilets under there. All the wiring and stuff. We keep the dash pretty tidy. Um, we've gone to single major switch blocks, very nice, um, all the wiring's all professionally done. Cool, a nice big dash there with plenty of storage. Yeah, yeah, we love our, love our dash, we've got the handrail here now and a couple more up here and the uh, VHF and the stereo's up out of the way up here. That's right, but, and uh, fridge under the fridge. helm seat yes. and that, that stowage under the passenger seat. There's a drawer here and uh, that's where your fresh water is. Okay. And um, I see the seats have got rollback bolsters if you want to travel yeah, standing. Yeah, no, no, they're fabulous seats, so just um, pop it down like that when you want to sit on it. And you've got a lovely seat there and a footrest down here. And to give you the room when you want to stand, you just pop it back and lean against it. Yeah, Very ideal. Very comfortable. And I, I'm, I'm here to say it travels extremely well, this boat. One of the nicest I've been in, I think. And... Uh, that all comes back to the um, the ballast tank system and, and allowing a much uh, deeper V than a standard for these hulls. Beautiful boat, excellent um, stay away fit out and um, I think uh, these must be doing very well for you Phil. Yeah, we've uh, got a lot of these on order, they're a very, very popular boat. Um, they clock out from somewhere around between 160 to 200,000 depending what sort of toys you put on it, you know, like your radars and bits and pieces. Yep. Finders, fish finders and that. But for around that money you end up with a spectacular boat and the beauty about it, you've got it's like I said, it's like a baby launch and you can tow it up 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 to the Bay of Islands or out to the East Cape or something and it's a it's a pretty nice boat. Great all rounder. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for that, Phil.